Give it up for the hilarious Alan Bromwell. Thank you very much, I'm Jewish. <laughs> What's going on? Dude, I was talking to my girlfriend before I came out here. She's watching this Netflix series. She's about six episodes deep in it. I asked her what she liked about it. She said, nothing really. <laughs> Just waiting to see if it gets good. In that moment, I understood why we've stayed together for so long. <laughs> what are you clapping for? I, <laughs> like I even have a girlfriend. You don't know me. This is, that was personal. No, I'll tell you, the truth is, last girl I dated, seriously, we had a pregnancy scare. We were walking to the pharmacy. This pregnant woman jumped out of the bushes. She was... <laughs> Completely naked, scared the piss out of both of us. I, I screamed so hard, my Nuva ring almost popped out. I was like, wow. <laughs> okay. That was just to take the temperature in the room. I just want to <laughs> see what it's going to be. It's already better than last night, dude. Last night I was playing in Boulder and uh, we went up to that big uh, mega church up there, the, or the Whole Foods. We went. <laughs> What? Don't you shop there? Don't you like help fixing the ozone layer by spending $40 on cottage cheese? <laughs> you should shop there, man. I love Whole Foods. I prefer my lamb chops butchered by a lesbian. That's why I go there. I like... <laughs> what? No, I do. I do. I do. They do a better job. We're t talking about trimming meat here. And honestly, I will say... All right. Wow. Okay. That was the line. We're fine. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Dude, at Whole Foods, there's this woman with her kid on a leash. I know, and she's buying free-range eggs. <laughs> we not do irony anymore? What are we doing? She's got one of those kids' carts for him, the little... Miniature Whole Foods kids cart with a flag that comes off the back says future foodie. Like we all needed to know what type of asshole you're turning your kids into. <laughs> Do they have kids carts at Walmart with flags on the back that say future racist? I don't think so. Hey, wow, whoa. This is getting topical. Dude, you shop at Whole Foods, this is my advice to you. Smuggle in some items that don't belong there. Freak out the cashier when you're checking out, right in between your Tuscany pumpkin pasta sauce, your paleo-friendly grain-free lasagna sheets. Stick a can of Pringles. <laughs> Couple of Slim Jims. What the hell? <laughs> She's losing her mind. Where did you find that? <laughs> it was over by the powdered flax milk. This guy in a trench coat, he was handing stuff out. <laughs> I don't understand the foodie stuff. I don't understand all the diets, the keto, the carnivore, the paleo, intermittent fasting. Anybody doing this stuff? All of them? <laughs> all of them? Yeah. All right, we'll do all of them then. <laughs> I'll tell you, dude, intermittent fasting is what I tried that. That's, that's a cute diet. You skip breakfast, you skip lunch. By dinner, you strangle an infant in a blind rage. <laughs> they take you to prison. You lose a lot of weight. I thought caveman was the best. That was the greatest. You talk to somebody who's doing cave. Yeah, you eat foods that cavemen used to eat. You're like, yeah, like kale quinoa salad. <laughs> Is that what they were pairing with their pterodactyl tartar, sweetheart? Were they? <laughs> they were eating a lot of flowerless quiche Lorraine, were they? I went out to eat with a vegan last weekend. That was a nice sermon. <sighs> oh, my God, dude. They want to educate you. You shouldn't eat pigs. Did you know that pigs are actually very intelligent? Do you know pigs are actually smarter than dogs? <laughs> she had a seizure. I don't know. I... I was amused, but 
I don't think I care how smart my food is, really. I think I would eat a bear that could play chess, honestly. <laughs> Tasted all like bacon and making a sandwich. I don't know. Not looking for a backgammon opponent. What do they want us to eat? Like a, a goose with a learning disability? <laughs> is that what we're doing now? Eat the dumb animals. Very progressive. <laughs> Only eat things you can outsmart. So if you're stupid, you should stick to lettuce. No, oh, okay. I know, dude. Vegetables. You're ahead of me. This guy's getting ahead of me. How do you know, by the way, that the animals are smarter than the vegetables? Did you do the research on that? Because I've smoked some plants, and I will tell you. I think the mushrooms are smarter than all of us. <laughs> and I'm going to keep eating them. So, <laughs> the vegans, that's wild, dude. The, the stuff they, they're so mad about milk. You know, we're the only species that drinks the milk of another species. Did you know no other species drinks the, the milk of another species? Yeah, we're also the only species to invent the internet. <laughs> Do you want me to stop using that, too? Just because we invent stuff. I'm sure we tried making butter out of breast milk, probably at one point. <laughs> Turns out cow's better. I don't know. I, <laughs> student of history, I guess. They say meat is murder. That's the big one. Meat is murder. No, it's not. It's not. Let me explain something to you. Murder is when you kill something... And don't eat it. <laughs> That's murder. Suppose I kill an elk. I go, eh, leave him there. Let's go home. What? You're just going to murder that elk like that? Let's go get the tenderloin. Something, something, Jeffrey Dahmer. Let's move on. This is... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, there's one of the Boulder Whole Foods where they're still doing the mask thing. I got yelled at. You should really wear a mask. You know, you could have symptoms and not be showing it. I'm like, yeah, I could have asymptomatic chlamydia, too. <laughs> I could. You think I'm wearing a condom? No. <laughs> Why would I do To save some old ladies' lives? I'm not doing that. <laughs> some of these old ladies got to go. It's not my fault. I... That was a joke. Chlamydia is a serious issue. But I will say, <laughs> if you want to be responsible, let's be responsible. How about a big round of applause for all the people who have been wearing their masks alone in their cars? <laughs> Never been so easy to spot a dumbass on the road before. <laughs> You wear a helmet while you watch NFL games alone? <laughs> Is that what you do? <laughs> I'll tell you what I learned. First day of the pandemic, liquor is essential. <laughs> yeah, this is America. <laughs> Drink up, everybody. Liquor is essential. Schools, non-essential. Bookstores, universities, non-essential. Drink all you want. Don't try to learn anything right now. This is an emergency. Okay. <laughs> we should probably change the subject. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. I, up in Boulder, there's a weird thing where you got to go see a therapist. I don't know if you guys ever go see a therapist, but that's like mandatory up there. You ever go do that? I went to go see her therapist. She said, I think you might have narcissistic personality disorder. I said, hold on, I'm talking. <laughs> Don't I pay you to listen? Some people <laughs> just can't get out of their own head. But I will, I will say this. She, she, you know, the thing is, everybody's depressed. That, that's what happened. Everybody got depressed being home alone. And, you know, they do give you bad advice when you're depressed. You know, they're like, it could be worse. You could be a child soldier in Somalia. You could be a child slave in China. Shit, you might be a, uh, you could be an adult woman in North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> I 
then you feel better. But <laughs> my therapist asked me, she said, what was the first girl you saw naked? That was her big question. I had to think about it. And it, it, it took me back. I remember my next door neighbor, she's running through the sprinklers. And I was looking over there thinking, how is she keeping her penis tucked between her legs like that? <laughs> and my mom explained to me, she said, honey, she doesn't have a penis, OK? Her parents took it away because she wouldn't go to bed on time. I don't know. <laughs> what are you going to do? She gave me a lot of advice when I was a kid. She said, sweetie, you can be anything you want when you grow up. Just please don't be gay or Republican. <laughs> I was like, Mom, I want to be a stand-up comedian. She said, all right, fine. You can be gay. <laughs> Dude, it's probably harder to come out as Republican. <laughs> Don't you think? Imagine that. You're at Thanksgiving dinner. You're like, Mom, in the last election, I actually, I, I voted for, uh, I'm gay. <laughs> it's easier that way. And by the way, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm literate. And uh, <laughs> it's all right. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We don't have any candidates, so I don't even. <laughs> but I am surprised we're still doing the two-party thing. Aren't you? In 2022, we're still doing the two-party system? What the hell? We got rid of the two-gender system. <laughs> a lot of you didn't want to laugh at that, but, <laughs> but we did. We got more pronouns than political parties, by my count. What if I'm politically non-binary? Okay, it was silent. <laughs> <laughs> but come on. I could never pick. And so this is the thing. I don't vote, and then both sides hate you when you don't vote. That's the beauty of the two-party system. They're like, you elected the guy by not voting. You're like, you, you study math, obviously. <laughs> they were so mad with Donald Trump. You elected Donald Trump by not voting. I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. I picked all the winners of American Idol, too. <laughs> I didn't vote for that either. I guess I picked all the winners. It's one vote, dude. It's statistically insignificant. You know, just like the amount of money King Supers loses when you type in the wrong produce code. <laughs> At the self-checkout. <laughs> Just me doing that. Organic pineapple. Sure look like celery to me. <laughs> anyway, I got to get out of here. You guys have been fantastic. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs>